Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And I know you have all been wanting an update on my daughter Layla's pregnancy. So we are currently at Maple Hospital in the maternity ward waiting for her appointment. And I have my phone out because of course I had to bring you guys along. So with that being said, let's get started. I got myself some coffee. And as you can see, August is knocked out. And Layla, you look a little bit worried. Are you okay? I promise you, this part's gonna be really easy. You're gonna be just fine. What if there's complications? Don't worry, babe. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, what Adrian said. You're gonna be just fine. We don't even wanna put that negativity out there. Let's wait and see what the doctor has to say. I hope you have a good one, because this is really important. And if you don't feel comfortable with this doctor, we can definitely get you another one, so just let me know afterwards. Okay, well, I'm ready. I'm ready too. We've been standing here for a minute. Layla Collins? Oh yeah, she's right here. August, get up. Mm-hmm, that's me. I'm awake. Okay, good, because this is really important. Come on, son. Hi, I'm Dr. Harris. It's nice to meet you. Finally, they were taking their sweet time. I know that's right. It's nice to meet you too. You sure do have a lot of people with you. Yeah, I hope that's okay. Uh, we can all come in with her, right? It seems like you have a great support system, but you're only allowed one person inside with you. Who would you like that to be? Oh, wait a minute. You can only take one person? Definitely you, mom. You should take me. What? Oh yeah, I meant your mother. <laughs> Dad, you were just asleep. You know what? You're right, Akila. Just please take pictures. Oh, of course, you know I will. Okay, um, well, I'm ready. Here, hold my coffee. Good luck, Layla. See you girls later. I'll take care of these guys. Make sure they don't get into trouble. Make sure we don't get into trouble. Sorry about them, but we're ready. Good luck, Layla. Okay, follow me to room 301, right over here. Okay, here we go. This is really exciting. Don't worry, you'll be just fine. Looks like they got all of your vitals downstairs. Everything seems to be in normal range. Phew! Okay, I'm gonna draw your blood and take it to the lab. While I'm gone, you can put on this hospital gown. Okay, so Layla has put on the hospital gown and now we're just waiting for Dr. Harris to come back. I'm glad that she's feeling a little less nervous now though because she was shaking in the car on the way here. So let's hope and pray that everything is gonna be just fine with the baby. Okay, now we can get started with the ultrasound. Okay, let me go ahead and get out of your way. Have you been experiencing any symptoms? First of all, yes. Nausea, headaches, back pain, all that. Yeah, especially the nausea. She's really been struggling with that. Maybe you can prescribe something a little bit stronger? I'm sorry to hear that. For your nausea, I'm going to prescribe you a medicine called Zofran. It should really help. That would be greatly appreciated because this morning sickness is no joke. Okay, so the doctor has been asking Layla a couple questions, but now I think we're finally gonna get to see the baby. So, when can I see my baby? Okay, now we can get started with the ultrasound. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me go ahead and get my phone out one more time. I'm going to apply some warm jelly to your stomach. Just a warning, it might feel a bit weird. Don't get me in the shot. I look a hot mess. Layla, you're fine. And trust me, you're gonna wanna have these memories to look back on. So, smile for the camera. Now, let's hear that heartbeat. Do you hear that? The baby has such a strong heartbeat. The baby seems to be developing at a normal rate. Thank God. You'll probably start showing really soon. In the next couple of weeks, actually. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe this. That is such wonderful news. Dang, mom, you were right when you said these months would fly by. I know, I was trying to tell you. Hey, what happened? Why do you look sad? You're healthy and the baby is healthy. Isn't that a good thing? 
I'm gonna miss this body. I'm not gonna lie. Trust me, I understand that feeling. But you're right. A lot of women worry about body image during pregnancy. You just have to remember you're bringing life into this world. It'll be worth it. What a wonderful way of putting it. You're so right. Wait a minute, do you have any more questions for Dr. Harris before we have to go? When exactly will I find out the gender? You can find out the gender at around 14 weeks by ultrasound or by an anatomy scan at around 20 weeks. Oh my goodness, we are so close to finding out what the gender is gonna be. Comment down below and let us know what you think. Well, Dr. Harris, I'll go ahead and make sure that this one keeps up with all of her appointments with you. The anticipation is driving me crazy. I bet it is. Well, thank you, Dr. Harris. We appreciate your service. I'm going to let you get dressed and you can pick up your prescription at the pharmacy downstairs. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Dr. Harris. Hey, guys. Hi, ladies. How was it? I think it went really well, actually, but I'll let Layla tell you everything. Is everything okay with the baby? Thankfully, yes. Me and the baby are healthy, and I'm already eight weeks pregnant. That's awesome. That needle caught me a little off guard, but other than that, it was lightweight. It was such a relief knowing that everything is going as it's supposed to. You guys are done. I couldn't wait any longer. I started to get impatient. Did you take any pictures? Oh yes, let's see the pics. Wait, let me see the pictures first. Let me show them. They didn't get to go in the room with us. I wanna see too. Okay, okay, fine. Aw, that's my grandbaby. Wow. I know, isn't it so incredible? She goes back in a couple weeks and that's when we find out what the gender is going to be. Okay, go to the next picture. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. Now, Layla, why you look all grumpy? She had an attitude because she said she looked bad today. I want to see that beautiful smile. There's only a couple more pictures, but we should probably go downstairs and stand in that pharmacy line because when we were checking in, there was definitely a lot of people down there. You look beautiful anytime, anywhere. Yeah, let's go do that while we can. All right, all right, lovebirds. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get Layla's new prescription and we'll see you when we get back home to Bloxburg. Hi guys, it's Layla and of course I'm here with Adrian. As you guys just saw, I'm done with my very first ultrasound. I am so glad mom went in with me this time and got some content for you guys because I know y'all have been asking about me. She's clearly been through this before, so I wanted her to go in with me this time to guide me so I know what to look for and what questions to ask. But Adrian will definitely be going with me to my other appointments. I can't believe I'm already eight weeks pregnant. Babe, show them the picture. Here's the ultrasound picture again if you wanted a closer look. It feels so surreal. I'm starting to feel more excited to be a dad. In a couple weeks, we'll find out the gender. And of course, we're planning to do a big gender reveal party. We are so excited to be taking you guys on this journey with us. And we hope you're excited too. Okay, so we have made it back to our house and we thought this would be the perfect opportunity to talk about everything. So Layla, now that the appointment is over, how are you feeling? I'm just ready to get this pregnancy over with but I'm grateful to have you all here supporting me. Of course, Layla, but I also want to know how you're feeling over there, Adrian, because you haven't said too much. I guess I'm feeling pretty anxious. I just want this whole process to go well, and I totally get that. You guys are still really, really young, and this is your first kid. I understand, son. This sort of thing can be scary, but I know you two will be just fine. And remember to pray and ask God for strength during this time. You've got it. And that's fine, Adrian. I just want you to know that you have made enormous progress since our last encounter. And, uh, Speaking of our last encounter, Adrian, I believe that August and I owe you an apology because we kind of jumped on you and weren't hearing your side when Layla told us that she was pregnant. But I hope you can understand that it was just our first instinct to protect our daughter. I mean, this is a really big situation, but now you can lay everything on the table. If there's anything you want us to know, anything you want to say, Go for it and I promise you, we'll listen. But we are sorry, 
Right, August? Yeah, I wanna apologize for being impolite and coming off as rude when I should have been more supportive. All good. I do understand. I would have done the same thing. I also want to apologize. Like I told Layla that day, I wasn't mad at her. Yeah, I think I kind of overheard you guys talking it out. So I'm glad that that situation is cleared up. I understand why you two are apologizing, but Adrian is old enough to know that there are consequences to his actions. He knew he should have been there for Layla, and I'm sorry he wasn't. That is definitely true, Mr. Parker, but... I think they're both old enough to know what they were getting themselves into. So we're not mad at you guys. We just want you to know that it's really important for you guys to stick together. Because this is only the beginning of your relationship and we want the best for you. We just want your baby to be born into a loving environment and a stable one. And speaking of that, what is the financial plan? Because we had the agreement with Layla that she could stay here as long as she finishes getting her degree online. But after that, you're gonna need to have a plan because you're not gonna be able to stay here forever. As much as we love you, you also have to be a little more independent. It'll definitely get a little overwhelming having to balance school and pregnancy, but I'm gonna try my best to persevere through it. Having a kid while being an adult was hard enough. I can't imagine how hard it'll be for you two being in school. There are so many factors in this situation. I know that Adrian has definitely been applying for some jobs, but Layla, you need to think about what you're gonna do after you graduate. Yeah, it's gonna be tough, but we will be here for support, obviously, but it won't be like that forever. So it'd be better to plan it out now before it's too late. And Layla, I'm also assuming that you're gonna want your own space with Adrian eventually. Oh, most definitely. So maybe after you guys find some stable jobs, I think it would be a good idea if you guys looked into the Garden Grove community. It's a community that was just built. It's not too far from here. Your dad actually helped build some of the houses at his construction job. It's a community meant for people who are trying to get back up on their feet and also people like you who are starting a family for the first time. And they had a lot of houses for sale. That would be very helpful. Oh, I've heard of that place. It's very beautiful, a perfect place to raise a child. Oh, okay, we should look into that. Yeah, it would definitely be really nice if you guys could rent out your own house. It doesn't have to be your forever home, just something temporary. The rent is pretty cheap too, but the houses are a little smaller. You guys can make it work though. I believe it's the best situation for you both as of right now. And we can continue from there. Both of you can do this. I know it. Well, we clearly have a lot to think about, but we're so excited to take you on this journey with us. And let us know in the comments what you think Layla and Adrian should do. If you enjoyed watching, do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!